Hi, when you were talking about less of thin, yes. and I was wondering, when you read the back of ingredients on food, it says soy less of thin. Yes. Is that something different? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same stuff. The problem is when they put it as an ingredient, they're using it as an emulsifier to, bring, to pull all the oil and water together, ice cream and chocolate. Uh, or very often sources, soups can be very often sources of lecithin because it acts to pull the oil, oil ingredients with the water ingredients to create a homogenous product. But the problem is you're not getting enough, number one. Usually it's just a very tiny amount of lecithin. And number two, you don't really know where that soy has been. And soy is not, uh, soy can be a very nasty crop these days, so you've got to be very careful with soy lecithin. But to answer your question, yes, it is exactly the same thing. And it's used for the same purpose, to pull the oil and water together. In the case of chocolate bars, ice cream, and processed foods, it's done to keep the, all the ingredients together. But if you do it in your smoothie or you do it, you add some egg to your smoothie or you do it uh, as a nutrition supplement, you'll get the same kind of emulsification, oil and water combining effect inside your body uh, and also inside your smoothie if you're doing it as a smoothie. But make sure it's the good stuff. Make sure it's GMO-free, organic soy lecithin, or if you don't like soy, you can use rice lecithin or sunflower lecithin. Those are all very readily available. But yes, indeed, Caroline, it is the same thing. Does that, does that help? Yes. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Have a good day. All right, Lydia, my friend Lydia in California. What's up, Lydia? Where you been? Yes, hi. Um, hi, Lydia. I have a question, Ben. Um, what, are your, what is your thoughts on this? You're not mad at me, are you, Lydia? No, not at all. you're mad at me. I haven't heard from no, you forever. No, I just haven't been feeling that great. Oh, so, no. I'll give you a call um, later on. But what's your question? Okay. My question is about using, with the safety of using laser hair removal. What you know about? What do you think? I know a lot about it. In fact, I make some products for people who do. I have a really good friend who started a laser hair removal business, and she's doing unbelievably awesome. Um, getting getting rid of people's hair off everywhere in their body, and I mean everywhere. And huh? it's it's very very popular. It's there's not really any, as far as I know anyway, there's not really any long term effects. And it, apparently, at least according to my friend, it's pretty effective. You can get rid of your hairs. Uh, for forever if you do them under your arms and other parts of your body you can uh, get rid of them forever and it might be something you want to consider if you're tired of shaving um i am <laughs> there's real there's really no health there's no health impact as far as i know at least at least not yet you never know what they'll find out in the future yeah. but as, as far as uh, as far as uh, right now there's no health impact to that oh, okay good okay one other quick question about cysteine sure. i okay. thought this combination um glutathione cysteine and c it's a combination and I didn't decide to take it because I take NAC, and I was wondering, is, is it okay to take both of them? Sure. Or? Heck, yeah. NAC, we're going to talk about that next week. That's the, the detox form of cysteine. Uh, uh-huh. And it, did you say selenium? Well, there is selenium. That's and, awesome. Uh, selenium and cysteine work together, as I was saying, very effectively. And then the glutathione is a bit of a waste, in my opinion, because the body breaks up that peptide, and it'll form the three amino acids, and you won't really get the glutathione, but it isn't going to hurt you. Uh, but the NAC and selenium are super duper important. And very, very, very important. If you have acne, by the way, out there, you're listening. NAC is like a, almost like a miracle for dealing with acne for a lot of folks. It, we'll talk at length about NAC, N-acetylcysteine, NAC next week. Does that help, Lydia? They're not the same thing, though. Cysteine, cysteine and NAC are essentially the same thing. From a technical perspective, no, they're not. But essentially, they are inside the body. Okay, but I could take both of those. Pills. Sure. I mean, I, Heck yeah. Autumn, I mean, I, I don't have to take them, but no, you know, you could, there's, no, there's no problem with that. Okay, good. All Thanks, right, so Lydia. I'll, I'll talk to you later. I'm going to give you a call later on this weekend. Oh, good. Thank you. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. That's my friend Lydia in California. Rose, what is up? Welcome to the Bright Side. i got about a minute and a half. Rose, Rose, Rose. We got Rose? Rose? Rose is no longer present. All right, well, we don't have enough time anyway. We're running out of time here on the Bright Side. Rose, if you're listening out there in uh, in the U.S., I'm not sure where you live, Rose, give us a call back tomorrow or uh, Monday, and we'll take your call. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening, friends. If you like what you heard, tell your friends that we're on Monday through Friday on the Genesis Communication Network. That's 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time. Next week we'll continue talking about cysteine and N-acetylcysteine, and then we'll talk about a form of cysteine that is somewhat toxic, and it's something you have to be very careful of. And then in recent years, this form of cysteine has actually been associated with a lot of health problems, including Alzheimer's disease, 
disease and, and heart disease, and we'll talk about that next week and how you can protect yourself from this toxic form of cysteine. This is all as it regards amino acids, building amino acids. And remember, folks, we started talking about osteoporosis back, I believe, in October or November, and we haven't talked about Fosamax. We haven't talked about Prolium. We haven't talked about Bonev. We haven't even touched prescription drugs. This is all nutritional strategies for building bone as well as for building tissue because the bottom line, friends, is we don't need any prescription drugs with the exception of an occasional antibiotic and an occasional pain pill. We don't need prescription drugs. We don't need the medical model. We don't need Obamacare. And we don't need, certainly don't need to have organs removed out of our bodies unless, of course, they're cancerous. We can do it all ourselves using strategies like deep breathing techniques, using strategies like nutritional supplementation, using strategies like restricting our calories and making sure that we're using intermittent fasting. These are all ways that we can improve our health without interfacing with the medical model. That's why I call this philosophy the bright side philosophy because it's the good news. It's the good news that says that the human body is a self-contained healing system. No doctors required. No pharmacists required. No pharmacists been required. We can do it all ourselves. Thank you so much for listening, friends. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Reliance, survival supplies, survival skill, national experts. Get it all at the only free to attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, a must be there event presented by American Living. This massive expo will include special guests David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers, plus GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network. Along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival. Survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866 229 0927. 866 229 0927. Or visit mypatriotsupply.com for emergency preparedness, self reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotsupply.com.